Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to my first top five video. There's no script, very low effort, because I need to appease the algorithm if I, to be honest, you know, if I really want to try to make something out of this YouTube channel, I can't just be making, you know, video essays once in a blue moon or just rely on my podcast. It's not... It's not sustainable. I almost choked on my word right there. And I'm going to probably keep that in because I'm going to be lazy with this video. Not going to lie. But yeah, I need to do these like filler videos just to, again, appease the algorithm and to help grow my channel. But I'm still hopefully here to provide you some entertainment. And what better way to start off with, you know the top fives and with the top five Ultraman openings, especially since this month, uh, it's pretty much going to be Ultraman theme, except for the podcast, but I'm doing this because Shin Ultraman is going to be coming out in North America uh, pretty soon around the time that, you know, in the same month, this video should be popping up. But anyway, without further ado, Let's dig right into the video. Before I get into my top five, I want to mention some honorable mentions. And that is pretty much all the Ultraman openings that are not mentioned in this list. Because, quite frankly, I love pretty much all of them. I, I haven't found an intro that I don't you know, really hate or dislike. I think they're all fantastic, and honestly, I was struggling to even come up with a top five because they're all so good to me. I love them all, but I have to choose top five because, you know, it's not fun to just list off all the Ultraman openings, but yeah, if your favorite doesn't make it onto that list, well, I'll probably agree with you that I was wrong, <laughs> but I'm also right because I love all of them. <laughs> That makes no sense, but just roll with it. For number five, we got Susume Utaman Zero. Now, I don't know if that counts as an opening because, you know, it's not really used for, you know, an opening for a specific Ultraman show. It's for Ultraman Zero. I'm not sure if it was used for Ultraman Zero The Chronicle. I mean, I have it. I just haven't watched it. But yeah, this is a really, you know, kick-ass song. I love this song. I remember listening it the first time and just being like, oh my god, this is so freaking awesome. You know, uh, especially with that, like, bombastic opening, the da 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 You know, and then you got the whistling. It's really cool I and mean, it fits the cool character archetype that is Ultraman Zero you know and this song fully fully captures Ultraman Zero in essence you know I just love listening to this song up next for number four is Ultraman Leo's first opening Obviously not the second one, if I had to be correct for something. I don't think the second opening is anybody's favorite. But, no, the first opening of Ultraman Leo, it's probably one of my favorite of the Showa era openings. In fact, it's the only one in the Showa era that made it onto this list. And honestly, I legitimately love all the Ultraman you know, Showa era openings, and it's a really tough choice, especially between this, uh, Ace's opening, Jack's opening, and probably either Ultra 7 and Ultraman, you know, original. But I think what Ultraman Leo has sort of an edge on is that, again, it has that coolness factor to it, you know, and it goes off with that da 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 gets re you really pumped up and just chanting Utaman Leo 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 you know that you know it's really you know it's a really awesome song 
and I just scratched my nose, so I can't use the footage for it. So yeah, Ultraman Leo's first opening. It totally kicks butt. Coming in at number three, we have Take Me Higher. I mean, I feel like I would be, you know, thrown in jail if I didn't put this somewhere on the top five because it is one of the most popular openings in the Ultraman franchise. And I can't blame anybody. I mean, you know, you got to take me higher, you know, going to take me higher or I want to take you higher. I would love to sing a little bit of the song, but I feel like Johnny's and associates would, uh, would hunt me down. Yeah. That that's the one thing that sucks about this song is Johnny's and associates because it is absent in the Mill Creek DVD set, except for one episode, which is weird. I don't know how that slipped up, but anyway, yeah, it's an awesome song. It's a shame that it can't be used for most things because Johnny's and Associates, yeah, Johnny's sucks. Not not this one. No, I'm cool. I'm John, you know, I'm not Johnny's and Associates, so don't blame me. Anyway, yeah, take me higher. It's a no brainer. For the number two spot, I ask you to chant my name. Koshowa Kurisai Wai no Nao is definitely the best of the new generation heroes openings, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry to Trigger, or to G, and to Orb, and X, because Let's be real, pretty much all of the new generation hero openings have been absolute bangers. But if I have to choose one, it has to be Gosho wa Kurusai Wai no Nao. Because I mean, come on, what, make, what other song in the new generation hero makes you want to chant the hero's name? And not only that, it is an absolute banger of a song. Again, like the previous new generation hero songs, but I don't know. This one makes it gets me more pumped up, honestly. It has a little bit of Ultraman Zero's theme, but I think, you know, Zet is just a notch above, you know, Zero's. Well, actually, a couple notches according to this list, but anyway, what else do I have to say? But. For my number one favorite Ultraman opening, it is not Ultraman Nexus. I know, I know. Type in the comments of how horrible or wrong I am for not including Ultraman Nexus. Killer opening, but I kind of like these songs better. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Uh, but no, my favorite has to go to Ultraman Mebius. The reason why I put Ultraman Mebius as my favorite is one, I do have a soft spot for the song as it was one of my favorites in high school. Two, it is a perfect blend of the, sh you know, the heart of the Showa era openings mixed in with the modern day aesthetic of the Heisei era openings. It's a perfect mixture between the two with its modern day instruments, you know, mixed in with trumpets and that choir, you know, it's really epic in scope, and I absolutely love it. You know, and it's a song that I will never get tired of hearing. And there you have it. Those are my top five favorite Ultraman openings. I wish I was more musically knowledgeable there, where I could talk about the instruments and stuff like that. I I'm not a music expert. I know, surprise, after watching this video. It is what it is. At the end of the day, I, I just really like cool music. And, you know, if you have different favorites, that's, that's honestly, you know, valid. And I'll probably agree with you to some extent because my top five is constantly changing. In fact, by the time this video comes up, I might have a complete 
completely different new top five list. And I honestly don't really like the concept of top fives, but they please the algorithm god. So, you know, got to do what you got to do. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me. I plan on having videos come out every Wednesday. Hopefully I can keep on top of that and making these shorter, low edited, low scripted, or should I say non-scripted videos is probably going to help me out in making sure I keep feeding that pesky little algorithm. But other than that, I won't just be doing top fives. I'll have a variety of content. I'll also not be exclusively talking about Ultraman, but other tokusatsu properties and other Japanese pop culture stuff like video games, other movies, stuff like that. I will also be doing for, I believe Ultraman Decker should be airing about around this time this video comes out. So every Friday I'll be doing an Ultraman Decker review video of the previous week's episode so make sure to check those out and then i have my podcast where i talk about japanese films mostly uh or should i say more recently because my earlier podcasts were kind of general movies but now i'm shifting the focus to japanese more japanese centric movies right now i'm doing the gamma series so yeah make sure to check out my podcast every saturday morning and of course, you know, press the subscribe button if you want to watch more. Hit that like button, you know, to help me with the algorithm. Or dislike it if you really don't like my face. Very sad. I would love to get some feedback on my videos. Uh, if I don't get any feedback, I can't really grow as a creator. So, or my cre, you know, my growth would be only limited to the critique I get myself. So anyway, any feedback, highly appreciative. Anyways, I hope you have an awesome day. Take care and shoo watch.